A little bit about me for context setting. I'm a, a serial travel entrepreneur, otherwise known as a glutton for punishment. Um, I've got 20 years in the consumer internet business. I've got a really strong design background, which is both about graphic design, but it's also about sort of the product design and the product experience, um, which leads to curation. So just a little bit about you know, why I'm here and, and what, um, uh, why I'm at, was asked to speak about this particular topic. Um, Travel Post was my first company, then DealBase, and I worked at CNET and Excite. Excite has a dubious distinction of being the company that didn't buy Google when offered to buy it for a million dollars. Um, that was not my decision, though. Um, Okay, so hotel tonight, we're mobile hotel booking. Um, our uh, short description, our elevator pitch description is hand-selected hotels at great prices on your mobile device for tonight or seven days in advance. That's where curation comes in, is that hand-selected hotels. So what we're gonna talk about today is why it matters. Why is curation important, this concept of curation? Why is that important? How do we do it at HT? A little behind the scenes, a little case study. We're also gonna talk about how other people are doing it and how this is being broadly applied across other verticals. And then a little uh, pontification about the future of curation and where, where we see it headed and, and how HT and uh, others are playing into this. All right, so why curation matters? I think it matters on mobile. As the world moves to mobile, as this becomes your primary computer, it is very important to have curation be part of what you do. It's part of the, I think, part of the, the consumer experiences of these mobile devices. That's because the screen sizes are small. What worked on the web doesn't necessarily work on a mobile device. People are using these mobile devices. I, I use it and I watch TV. You know, I'm doing something else. I'm on a train. I want to get out of the app and on with something else. So speed uh, is important. And also, it's about building a brand and building an emotional connection with consumers is really important to deliver a great experience to them, deliver a great product. That's about having a point of view and showing them something that they think they're, that they're going to like. Um, another way to look at this is uh, on an OTA, you've got 4341 properties, 4300 properties in, in Rome. Um, that is an asset and a virtue on the web where you can then sort and filter that down and find the perfect hotel for you. It, it's a lot of work, but it is from a full comprehensive stack. Uh, on a mobile browser, on a mobile app, on the mobile form factor, that becomes a liability. That becomes something that is a pain to look through. It's overwhelming. It's the paradox of choice. Um, so that's why curation matters, another way to, to look at it. Um, so a little bit about how Hotel Tonight does curation. In the early days, how I described the product and how I wanted it to feel and how we wanted it to feel was that it should feel like your best friend at a cocktail party. The guy that really knows you, really knows what's always cool, really knows that you turn to for what's the latest bar, what's the, the newest restaurant, and should be bringing you all of the, the coolest and, and greatest stuff plus um, that person is empowered with real-time information about weather, about pricing, about the best deals, about what's right for you. And that person then is like this you know, demigod and uh, deity in powers of bringing you an incredible hotel experience. But it still feels personal. It still feels human on top of that. That's what we've aimed to do. And we start with picking our partners. Um, and we don't just let any hotel in. We look at um, the social media reputations of hotels. We look at the, the, uh, the, um, the amenities of a hotel. We look at the location of our, our hotels. And then we say, these are hotels that we want to get into hotel tonight. Um, that's across all price points. That's some of the coolest hotels, the newest hotels, the hip luxe hotels for sure, but also basic hotels. We want to have something for everyone. Of the budget hotels, we want to make sure that we have the best budget hotels for you. That's important for us because if you're going to trust us with uh, a night with your, your, uh, you know, a great night's sleep and a great night out, we want to make sure that you're having a good night's sleep. Otherwise, it reflects poorly on us. And then we further curate by adding this perspective, this point of view. We don't just do five-star rating, four-star rating. I don't think that really tells you very much. You're getting a lot of that from the relative price point of a hotel. What it does tell you, what we do tell you, is the mood of the hotel, the vibe of the hotel. It's important for uh, you to say that, hey, between these two hotels that are equal in terms of amenities and service, one's a hip and one's a charming. That's a very different experience. With one color, with one word, you can quickly tell that that's a different hotel. Again, saving you time, giving you confidence. And then lastly, it's not a just moment in time curation. It's an ongoing process. Um, this is a, a, a report card that we put together for hotels uh, on a regular basis that looks at the 
um, the customer reviews from that hotel, any customer service incidents, other things that, that they may be doing um, that either right or wrong in terms of their relationship with us and our, our customers. We put a, re a report card together. And if they're doing well, great. If they're not doing well, we'll uh, bring them into the office and have a little conversation with them, um, the metaphorical principal's office. And if it's, it becomes a problem, we'll ask them just to leave hotel tonight. It's just not worth it for us to have a guest have a bad experience. We get rated every day in the App Store. The ratings are about the company you keep. We don't want to keep bad company. So just to pull it all together, when you open the app, what you see in New York, you don't see every hotel. You start with a subset of maybe 150 to 200 of the best hotels in the city across all different price points. And then the curation algorithm, our sort of secret magical algorithm, will look at all of those in real time at the best deals, at the best locations in the city, and bring back a hand-picked selection, what feels like a hand-picked selection of hotels. And it's doing it all in real time in under um, half a second. All right. So. This is, that's the story of Hotel Tonight. This is a concept, though, that's applicable to, I think, most industries, most commerce uh, verticals and categories within, uh, w within the world right now. So a couple things that are happening and some observations. Um, one is uh, Yelp. Yelp is, is great for finding new restaurants and restaurant reviews, but they show reviews for everything. It's, it was built for the web, um, ported to mobile. Um, take a, a mobile-first experience like Soch. Soch has uh, some of the, uh, it's in San Francisco and New York right now. It's a very well produced mobile app that gives you a really strong point of view about what restaurants are trending right now, what restaurants are great right now, where you should go. Um, and it's gotten very popular um, because of that. You take StubHub, which shows you it's a marketplace for secondhand tickets. You compare that to a company called GameTime, that is a, a mobile first app that looks at all the games that are coming up. You say, I want to go to this game, and it brings back only 15 of the most, what they call the most remarkable, uh, remarkable tickets. That's a variety of different seats, a variety of different places um, within the stadium, a variety of different price points. But if there's two seats that are very similar, one's $800 and the other's $100, it's not going to even show you the $800 one because it knows that that's not worth your time. It's doing that curation, that, that, um, that processing for you, uh, that shopping for you to bring back stuff that's going to be great, going to save you a lot of time. Um, at Hotel Tonight, we use a service called Zesty that uh, changes menus every night, but has just like two or three options from one type of cuisine. And it's really inexpensive, very healthy food. And what I like about it most is that our employees don't have to spend a lot of time. They don't have to spend a lot of um, cognitive energy on thinking about what is the right meal for me tonight. They can just go to this website and say, I want it or I don't want it. Before we had paper menus, they were a pain. They also required a lot of shopping time. That time is now can be spent building better products as well as just collaborating with the team. And lastly, you've got Macy's, which has everything, and then Birchbox, which I'm sure a lot of you know, that has just a handpicked selection every month of samples of the best cosmetics that are sent to you. So I think that this is, this is more than just Hotel Tonight. This is a concept of people that are saying, I don't have enough time to go through all of the options that were created for me and brought to me in the era of the web. I don't want to search for those. I want them to be brought to me, and I want only the best ones that are going to be most liked for me. So I think it's an important trend. Um, so let's talk about the future of curation. So we're showing you about the 10 best, most remarkable hotels for you right now. Um, that's uh, orders of magnitude better than showing you 4,300. But where does it go in the future? The future curation, I, I break it down into two Ps. One is precision, and the other is being proactive. And the way that we look at precise is that most likely you're going to book just one hotel. Um, we're showing you 10, so we're failing you 90% of the time. How could we bring you the best possible result and say, this is the hotel that you should book? That's incredibly hard to do because your context changes. Sometimes you want to go big. Sometimes you want to go a little bit more um, budget-minded if you're just crashing um, or only going to be at the hotel for a little while. Sometimes it's a special event, so you want something a little bit different than you normally book. A lot of things change what is the right hotel for you. It's a very hard thing to do, but that's how we're looking at it and how I'm challenging the team to go after our, our algorithms to make them better and better. And then proactive is that in the web era, it was about searching, and I, I want something. Bring it back to me. Bring me all the options. And I think in the mobile era, it's about that query is replaced by being proactive with a notification from a service that says, hey, we found your seat at the Giants game. Hey, we reserved this for you. We reserved a great meal for you on Soch uh, and a great experience for you. We did it for you because we know you're going to like it. Um, and that's where the future of, of curation goes, not only having that point of view, not only having the best stuff, but actually taking action on it. Um, 
So uh, a couple different examples of this and a couple different use cases. Uh, and, and this is always fun for me, but um, thinking about uh, an anniversary that's coming up, um, Hotel Tonight would say, hey, uh, your anniversary is here. We found your favorite hotel. We got an exclusive rate for you because they have empty rooms that they weren't gonna fill. Um, so we got it for you for half off and we've already booked it for you. Just confirm. Um, confirm that you want it. So how do we do this? We do this by tapping into uh, third-party services and services on the device that you might have given us access to. So the calendar, for example, and we can know that, or third-party data sources like Facebook. And then how do we know your favorite hotel? Well, we might have seen uh, what you've done in the past on Hotel Tonight. We might have seen where you stayed last year. And we can bring you what and, and turn up what is usually an arduous planning process into a night that can be focused on fun instead of on where, what am I going to do, where am I going to stay. So another example would be that um, it's midweek and Hotel Tonight sends a notification that says, hey, we see, see that you're, uh, you're available on Friday night. Um, what, um, what we've done is booked you some tickets at your favorite concert, booked you a hotel so you can crash nearby, and we've also invited five of your friends and they're all in. Um, so, oh my gosh, all my, my Friday night's all, all set, right? And uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce, not, not my favorite, but, um, the, uh, um, but it was a big around the office when they came through San Francisco. Um, and so how do we do this? Well, uh, in, you've given us access to Spotify um, and you trust that we're gonna be uh, using that information to make your hotel experience better, make your life better. So that's a fair trade um, in, get, in terms of giving us access in terms of the result of that. And the Hotel Plus Five of Your Friends, we also have access to, to seeing who your friends are, what they're doing, and again, we can do this group planning. And, and it it's might be us, it might be us in concert, or in concert, uh, in association and collaboration with another service like Yplan or uh, with GameTime to be able to set something like this up. And then lastly, so uh, a, another a business example, so if you've given us access and you've given services access to your inbox um, where uh, emails are coming in, you can, we could detect that an email came in from your boss that said, hey, we need you to drive from Milwaukee down to Chicago tomorrow. It's going to, uh, we've got an important meeting and a client dinner, so can you, um, you know, need to set up a hotel and stay there. So we can detect this. We can say, um, we are going to do this for you. We're gonna, the minute we see that email, before you've even read it, before you even know you have to be in Chicago, we can say, we got this covered. We got it. We, we'll take care of this for you. And, um, and we'll book you that hotel and also see that you have to be at dinner, so we'll um, make, uh, make a restaurant reservation at your, your favorite hotel, um, bar, and restaurant as well. So uh, excited about the future, excited about what it's going to bring, and excited to be playing a part in it. And uh, thank you again for having me here. Skift. <laughs>